this is the Ibanez GSRM20 Micro. And it's a super fun short scale bass that has some great sounds in it, including some pretty surprising quality as well that gives you quite a bit of tones in such a small package that actually has a pretty small price tag too. So I love short scale basses. Short scale is just a lot of fun to play. It's one of those things that you always forget about until you play it and you're like, golly, I love this. The scale length for a normal bass is 34 inches. Scale length for a short scale bass is 30 inches. And this one is actually 28.6 inches. So it's even smaller and really takes that micro name to heart. It's a pretty straightforward and simple bass that doesn't have a lot of flashy features to it, but it sounds surprisingly good. Have what I would call a pretty standard Ibanez shaped body. Uh, you look at it and you'd go, yeah, it's an Ibanez. It's not ugly, but you know, it's not super attractive to me, but it's a, it's a nice looking bass. It's a super lightweight poplar body that has a surprising amount of resonance to it actually. For your pickups, you have a PJ configuration that are Dynamix pickups. And I'm assuming that these are just basically Ibanez's cheap home brand, but this is actually the most surprising part. It sounds really good. Like this sounds surprisingly thick, surprisingly big. And overall you have a nice round sound to this that is EQ'd quite heavy to be honest. For something so small, you wouldn't expect to be able to get a thick tone out of it, but I'm kind of able to accomplish that effortlessly. And <laughs> that's actually shocking. Are they perfect? No, they could use a little bit more clarity and I think be a little brighter, but this is nothing to complain about with a bass that's less than $200 and actually sounds really good. You have chrome hardware, including Ibanez's own branded bridge. It's a pretty standard bridge. There's nothing too special about it, uh, but it seems rather high quality, I guess. Your three controls are your neck pickup volume, your bridge pickup volume, and an overall tone. Moving up, you have a thin and very slick maple neck that has a Jatoba fretboard. And this is basically a cheaper rosewood replacement uh, that feels quite nice. And it's really weird because it has a cool color to it where it's, think of a lighter shade of rosewood, but it has like a reddish orange tint to it. It's one of the weirdest things I think I've seen in terms of fretboards before, because it's something that I wasn't really expecting to have this kind of tint to it, but apparently, that's just naturally what the wood looks like. You have medium sized frets that feel like honestly, if you play this heavily, they'll go out in probably about five or 10 years. Um, but you know, for a bass that's, you know, under $200, that's not too bad. Then moving out to the headstock, you have some unbranded chrome tuners uh, that could be better. But of course, as I just said, it's under $200. So you can't really be too surprised by that, that the tuning isn't the best, but it's not that bad to be honest. You also have this nice little uh, truss rod cover that's movable. And I think that's just, you know, kind of a nice little touch. Now I bought this bass brand new for, I think it was $150 or $160 uh, about two years ago. Guitar Center or Musician's Friend was having some sort of, you know, stupid deal of the day thing. And I said, you know, why not? It's a super short scale and it was in, I guess this exclusive candy apple orange or candy apple reddish orange, however you would call this. Um, and 
while they don't, I guess it was a limited finish because you can't buy it in this color anymore per se, but there's still like seven or eight different finish types that you can get for it. And so overall with the GSRM 20 Micro, it's a really awesome base, just hands down. Super fun, not expensive at all. Surprisingly good sounding pickups, a very small and quick neck uh, that feels really good too. This isn't something that's, you know, super high quality. Again, this is like brand new for $180 and you can't really beat that. It's great for beginners and even someone like me that's been playing for so long, this is just really fun to practice with and with those thick sounding pickups, you can get some really good sounds out of it again, surprisingly. But let me know what you guys thought about it and really what you really think about super cheap, short scale basses like this. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you like this video, wanna see more like it, more bass reviews, demos, ugly basses, you know, whatever I do every week, Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna be like these beautiful people right over here, head over to my Patreon page for things like early access to videos, giveaways, and more. But thank y'all so much for watching as always, and I'll see y'all next time.